Welcome to the Overflow Worship Podcast, where we want you to thrive in the ministry God has called you to. We truly believe that God's placement has purpose, and we're here for you with encouragement and tools for the journey. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Overflow Worship Podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Olson. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You know, it's been quite a journey for all of us over the last few months. And if you're anything like me, you probably feel a little bit like you've been through a whirlwind and you're not exactly sure what just happened. And I know that it feels like it's maybe far from over, but I wanted to drop some encouragement on you today. You know, there's a lot out there in the world right now. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of media and news, and there's so much noise, so many voices everywhere. And I want to just be an encouraging voice for you today. And so what I encourage you to do is to fight for a little bit of time to just be still and take a minute to listen to this and turn down all the other noise. I know that that's really hard, especially in this season of, you know, being at home all together, lots of things happening in the home, lots of noise. But I don't mean that kind of noise. I mean the noise of life, of just all the things that bombard us day in and day out that make us worry or scared or sad or frustrated or you fill in the blank. But I encourage you to turn that down and just receive this bit of encouragement today. So it has been, like I said, a journey over the last several months. And I have been in just a spot of of surrender over the last several months because it's been kind of a an interesting time for our lives personally and our family. And it's just been a great time for us to reevaluate and realign some things. And so I found myself just really asking the Lord, okay, God, what, what do you want to say to me? What do you want me to do in this situation? What are you speaking? And as if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you've heard me talk about the whisper spot where, you know, I've been trying to purpose and go and really listen to what God is saying and listen to what he's speaking and kind of shut out everything else and go with an expectancy of just being in his presence. And, and as I've been seeking him out and saying, God, what are you saying? What do you want to say to me? What he has spoken to my heart over and over and over again, it's so simple, but it has been such a breath of peace and encouragement for me. And I want to share it with you. And he's simply been saying to me, I'm with you. And there was, there was a morning a couple of weeks ago where I woke up and I felt like the Holy Spirit was prompting me just to get up. And so it took me a little while to kind of pull out of my fog because <laughs> it was really early in the morning. And once I got up and I made it out into the living room, I felt like the Holy Spirit just spoke to my heart over and over and over again. I am with you. I am with you. And it was absolutely perfect, just like God is always perfect in his timing, right? It was perfect timing for my life in that moment. But I was prompted to just write that over and over and over again in my journal because I felt like it was something that the Lord was doing in my heart and he was wanting me to repeat it until my heart caught up with what was happening and really started to believe it. And I believe that God wants us to know that because right now it's easy to feel like we are alone and it's easy to feel like Maybe God is forgotten or God is distant or, you know, there's probably questions for a lot of us. Like, how could this happen? How, how could all of this happen? And, and God wants us to remember that he's with us. And so I want to read from Psalm 46 during this podcast here today, because that has been such a a life-giving psalm for me in the past few months. And I'm reading it from 
an interesting translation. It's the NIRV. It's actually the New International Reader's Version. And that's the version that my children would read. And so it's a, a simplified version that's been kind of catered towards a young reader. And I really feel like this is what this is what God is wanting to speak to my heart. And I really feel prompted to share it with you that we need to shut out all the noise and and all of the kind of complexities and the things that weigh us down and get back to where we started, to the simplicity of that, that childlike faith, that childlike joy and peace. And so he's brought me to this version, this translation many times, and I love how straightforward and direct it is. So I'm going to read some of Psalm 46. God is our place of safety. He gives us strength. He's always there to help us in times of trouble. The earth may fall apart. The mountains may fall into the middle of the sea, but we will not be afraid. The waters of the sea may roar and foam. The mountains may shake when the waters rise, but we will not be afraid. God's blessings are like a river. They fill the city of God with joy. That city is the most holy place where the most high God lives. Because God is there, the city will not fall. God will help it at the beginning of the day. Nations are in disorder. Kingdoms fall. God speaks. And the people of the earth melt in fear. The Lord who rules over all is with us. The God of Jacob is like a fort to us. Come and see what the Lord has done. And then jumping down to the final verse again in verse 11, it says, The Lord who rules over all is with us. The God of Jacob is like a fort to us. And backing up, actually, the verse right before that, verse 10, is one that we all probably know pretty well. Psalm 46, verse 10 says, He says, Be still and know that I am God. And this has spoken to my heart so much in the last several weeks, especially. And I love the part where it says, because God is there. And I think that that's something we, we need to sit on for a little bit and just think about that and receive that because God is there, the city will not fall because God is with us. Or when it says the Lord who rules over all is with us, that's basically like saying, okay, Andrea, the God who is in control, the God who created the universe is with me. He is with me. He is with you. So whatever circumstance, whatever darkness you are facing in your life right now, the God of the universe, the God who created all, who knows all, who holds all, who can do all is with you. And that doesn't just mean that he sees it and doesn't do anything about it or doesn't know what to do about it. He's with you in the deepest sense of the word that he knows everything about your situation. He knows everything about what's on your heart and he knows how to walk you through to the other side. You know, as I have talked with so many worship leaders and pastors over the past several months and several, several weeks, really, as we've met online once a week, just as a overflow worship community, I've said, Hey, if you want to meet on zoom, if you want to pray and worship and bring your questions and your prayer requests, I'm going to be here for it. And so we've done that over the last several weeks. And as I have listened, what I'm hearing is, number one, some discouragement because this is hard and it's been long. But also on the flip side of that, I have seen this incredible connection between churches that maybe wouldn't have happened otherwise. And so the silver lining of being able to join together as a community of churches, not just individual bodies, but 
church with a big C and really coming alongside of one another and saying, Hey, Oh, we have that resource. We know, we know who could help you with that. Cause they helped us. And just this beautiful connection. And I see God doing so many beautiful things amidst all of this mess, but it's hard to see it when we're in it, right? You know, if you're walking through the forest, it's hard to see the sunshine because we're in the thick of the trees. And so I just want to come and and be a little bit of encouragement and maybe show you, point out that break in the trees of sunlight because God wants to remind us that he's with us and he sees it. He knows it and he's going to bring us through it. So what does that mean for us as we continue forward? What does that look like? How do we walk that out? How do we live in that? Well, I think for me personally, there's a couple of things that have been on my heart and I'm just going to share them with you. And, and, you know, if they apply to you, I think, you know, that's great. And, and if not, that's okay too, but this is the journey that God has me on. And I felt prompted to share this today. So number one, the way that I can continue to walk this out and move forward, knowing that God is with me and trusting and believing that God is with me is asking him in the moments of each day, okay, God, what do you want me to do here? Because I feel like we're facing decisions that we've never had to face before, right? There are things almost every day where I turn my head and I kind of go like, I I can't believe that I'm actually saying this, or I can't believe that I'm asking this question because we've never had to deal with this before. It's pretty unprecedented. And so being intentional to stop, and I need to be so much better about this, but being intentional to stop and saying, okay, God, what do you want me to do in this moment? I know that you're with me. Speak to me. Remind me that you're with me and show me what to do in this moment. And that act of faithfulness and surrender is exactly what our hearts need every single day. I know my heart needs that reminder every single day and just kind of laying down, I'm surrendering myself, surrendering my worries, surrendering my fears and frustrations by each moment that I come across something that I'm not sure how to deal with or how to, to navigate through it saying, stop. And ask the Lord, okay, what do you want me to do here? What should I do here? And honestly, the other thing that I've been really just thinking about and has been on my heart is just constantly repeating these truths and these scriptures over my heart. God, you rule over all and you're with me. The God who rules over all is with me. And it's kind of like what I was talking about before where we have to say it over and over and over again until our hearts catch up (laughs) because sometimes we need to convince our human selves of the truth. And I think for me, it has been so powerful to really lean in and dig even deeper into the truth, into what I know is true and taking this time to make sure that I'm steadfast and and strong and firm in my foundations. And, you know, I think that this time has highlighted some things in my own life that needed to be addressed and needed to be dealt with. It's almost like this this time has this forced pause has been a forced reset kind of uh everybody has to look at their lives because everything stopped and we look at our lives and go okay wow that was you know really revealing <laughs> these you know all of these things that we're facing are revealing things about our lives that were good but some that were not so good and it's almost like turning over the rock and looking underneath and seeing like oh okay that's there i need to deal with that and you know change that moving forward and so you know i think that's just what i've been on in my personal journey but what i believe that we as as the body of Christ, 
And maybe, you know, maybe you're not in leadership in a church, but for those of you that are in leadership in a church or on a worship team, that we would really use this time to take an inventory of what's going on in our own lives. And then the next step is to move forward and say, okay, God, what do you want to do from here? How do you want me to move forward from here? Because I know that you are with me. And of course, that doesn't mean that everything's going to be super easy and just fall into place. It's still, you know, hard work. (laughs) But because I know that you're with me and because you have solidified that and just brought that home over and over and over again through this time of pause and reset. Now, how do you want me to walk forward in that? How do you want me to move forward in that? And then let's step out and do it. I believe that there is so much good that it's going to come out of this. And I'm sure you've heard this before. I've heard it a lot from different speakers, church services, podcasts, and that kind of thing over the last several weeks about how in history, in previous times of isolation, there has been so much creativity and so many inventions and songs and you know innovations that have come because people were in isolation. And they use that time to grow and they use that time to create something new. And I believe that God has been stirring that in the hearts of his people. And so I'm excited for this explosion that's going to happen as we emerge from what has been into what is going to be. And I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to see what God was doing underneath the surface all along that we couldn't see. And I know that we're not there yet. I know that we're not through the hard, even as, you know, logistically, maybe states are starting to reopen. And so we see a little bit of the light at the end of the tunnel from a logistical standpoint and and just from what things were to to what we want them to be. I know we're a, a little bit of a ways from that still. So I think it's important for us in this middle ground, in this in-between to not forget that God is with you and he cares about what we do in this time. He cares about how we're spending this time and how we're investing in ourselves and in our families and what we're putting into our hearts and into our minds and our eyes and our ears. And I believe that it's really important that we are intentional as we move forward to remember, number one, that God is with you. He is with us. Number two, he's going to get us through it. And number three, it matters what you do in it. And whether that means that it's a, that's a motivator for you and it's like, oh, okay, I need to, you know, maybe kick it into another gear and there's more, more opportunity to pursue while you're, you know, still in this, in this waiting period, or there's more that you want to want to learn and press into the Lord and grow. That's wonderful. And then the flip side, for those of you that are in a really discouraged place, I want to speak to you for a minute because I was, so I was driving, um, a couple of weeks ago and it was, I can't even remember what song was playing on my radio. I think it was one of the songs off of the new Elevation Worship album, which if you haven't listened to it yet, it's phenomenal. Go out, download it, stream it, whatever you can do to get your hands on it because it's powerful. But I think one of the songs was playing. I'm very moved by music and lyric, obviously. So it it mattered what was playing in the background at the time. But anyway, so it was almost like the Lord opened my eyes to the, to what was happening all around me, the cars, the people, the trains, the trees, everything seemed to be moving at a slow pace while life kind of just fast forward by. Like it was almost like the Lord gave me a little bit of a, of a vision of what was going on on the insides of people's hearts, just as I was driving down the street of feeling like you're living in slow motion on the inside, even though everything on the outside just feels like it's, it's, you're missing it. 
it's kind of going by and, and, and it doesn't matter. And what the Lord plopped into my heart was that you need to know that what you do in this time matters. And I don't mean that in like a, a condemning way of like, Hey, get up and do something. It's not that at all. It's, it's, you need to know that what you do in this time matters. He cares. He cares about you. He sees you and, and how you're processing through this and how you're walking through this time and how you're growing and what he's calling you to step into matters. And it's not just for the other side. It's for now too. There's callings on our lives now too, and we need to walk in it. And so I want to encourage you to look up, to see the light and, and to let God reignite the passions or callings that he's put in your life and in your heart. And don't let the lies and the fear and the doubt cause you to think that it doesn't even matter. Like, Hey, well, we're just in a holding period. It doesn't matter. No, it matters because there's a call on your life. There's a passion in your heart. Maybe it's been lost, but he put it there and He wants to breathe new life on it. He doesn't want you to feel like you're walking through life in the dark or in that state of just kind of a slow motion trudgery that I was talking about a minute ago. He wants you to thrive. And so if that's for you, I just encourage you with that today, that what you do matters, what he's called you to matters. And he wants you to live. He wants you to step out into your passions. And so I don't know who that's for. Maybe it's just for me, but I believe it's for somebody out there. And for all of us at in ministry and in our walks with the Lord, I think it's a great reminder to just dwell and and sit and receive the promise, the reminder that He is with us. He is with us. That's not going to change. It hasn't changed. He didn't leave and and come back. It's always been that way. And so how are we going to live in that promise? Every moment of every day, every step, remembering that he's with us. It means stop and ask him, God, what do you want me to do in these moments? And how do I move forward from here? Because it matters. So friends, Whoever that's for, I'm just going to leave that with you here today. And it's been burning on my heart. And so I wanted to share. I hope it encouraged you. And from all of us at Overflow Worship, we are here for you. We love the church. We love worship. And we want to see you thrive in the ministry that God's called you to. We are all for you. So if you've got things on your heart, if you've got questions, if you need to troubleshoot something or brainstorm with somebody, or you just need a someone to pray with you. We would love to be that person with you. And it's, it's just an honor to stand by the churches and and Christians and followers of Christ that, that we work with and to walk with you through life and through this journey in ministry. So I just want you to know that we're here for you and we would love to hear from you. So if you want to reach out to us, you can do that at info at overflowworship.com. We'll get back to you. We'll connect with you and chat. And we would just love to hear your story and and what God's been doing. And that leads me to the last thing I want to wrap this episode up with is if there's some really amazing things that you've been doing as a church through this time of, you know, just unprecedented, you know, new that we are having to navigate. If there's something really amazing that you would like to share, we'd love to hear your story. And so I ask that you reach out to us at the email I just mentioned and share that story. If it's too long to type out, just maybe shoot us a, you know, audio voice memo or something like that, because we would really love to, or a selfie video, we would love to hear it because number one, I think there's power in being encouraged by one another. 
And also I think we can learn from one another. And that's been one of the beautiful things about these community meetings we've been doing once a week. And if you want to join those, uh, there we're almost done with the weekly meetings, but we're going to shift to monthly meetings. So if you're curious about that, shoot us an email, we can get you the schedule. But I think there's so much power in in learning from each other and being encouraged by one another. So share your stories. What's God doing in your churches? What have you done that's worked? What's been really cool? What miracles have you seen? And then how can we pray for you? So anyways, friends, it's an honor to walk this journey with you. I hope you were encouraged today. Thanks again for tuning in. Thank you for listening to the Overflow Worship Podcast. To stay up to date, please subscribe for the latest episodes and information. To learn more about the ministry of Overflow, visit overflowworship.com. If you have questions or prayer requests, we would love to hear from you. You can reach us at info at overflowworship.com.